So I hope everyone had a great uh, summer. A lot of folks were heading out of town for the last month or so. Uh, well, hopefully not the entire month, but uh, we decided to put the office hours on hiatus and we're back now with a, a number of important updates and announcements and, and really a kickoff to uh, sort of the, the fall and what, what that entails for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and dig right in Remember, if this is your first time or it's been a while, uh, post your questions in the chat window and uh, we'll answer them either in real time uh, or as, as time allows towards the end. So for today, we want to go through a few things. We've got a number of new resources we've been working on and we want to introduce those to you. We're continuing to develop My apologies, folks. Our office is having some construction happening and seemingly continually dropping my internet connection. So uh, hopefully that is the last time that happens today. Fingers crossed. Uh, as, as I was saying, perhaps to myself, uh, we've been working on a lot of things uh, in the last month or so, new resources. So Ryan will introduce those uh, and a lot more is happening on that front. We're going to talk about briefly the Burrell research study that uh, we're participating in, a number of you are participating in. Uh, hopefully it's the first of many, and so I want to prepare you for, for more of those and what the benefits are for you. Uh, we're gonna talk about some content updates and, and a deal we've struck with family features, and, and finally some of the major tech updates uh, that have been rolling off during the last month. So uh, with that, I'll have Ryan start in on the playbook. Okay. Uh, thank you, Brian. Can can everyone hear me all right? Great. I'm getting the thumbs up from Brian on the other side of the office. Um, the first resource that I want to introduce to everybody uh, is what we're calling the Local Marketing Fundamentals Playbook. Um, we basically uh, look at the local ecosystem as having three players. They got the publishers, we've got local businesses, and we have locals, you know, local people. Um, so we've designed a playbook uh, basically for each of those three constituents um, covering various topics of how you can support community, how you get involved. Um, we are starting, of course, with the publishers because we have our relationship with you guys. Um, and over the next uh, probably, you know, two to three weeks and several months, we're going to be continually updating this content. Um, think of this as a step-by-step -step reference uh, for everything uh, you we talked about in the initial 10,000-foot training overview. Uh, this will go into greater detail. We'll give you a reference to come back to, um, you know, since I know we cover a lot of that stuff, or a lot of it on, in a very short amount of time. Um, the publisher part of the playbook will cover four basic areas, sales and marketing, editorial and content strategy, audience development, and community engagement. And for those of you who have talked to us uh, about our publisher concierge service, it is mimicking the things that we're doing as part of that service. So if you, know, you choose you want to be doing it yourself, you'll still have all those resources available to you. Um, I, when you go to view this, it's locable.com slash playbook uh, and then slash publishers for the publisher specific part. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of the links are grayed out. We will enable them uh, as we continue to add content. Uh, the first article is in there. Our goal is to add a few each week, um, hopefully more as we you know hit the ground running. Um, the playbook will also... Um, have a section for the businesses, as I mentioned, uh, that'll be a good resource for you to direct them to uh, in the future. And there are two videos there already. 
the audience development webinar, which hopefully you've already seen. It's probably worth revisiting about leveraging print. Uh, and then the print, uh, uh, sorry, the digital sales pricing and packages video. It's a new video, uh, probably new for most of you. It's covering how you go about pricing, how you put the digital pieces together into a package and gives you five example packages by industry restaurants, day spas, home services, et cetera. So this is really an important piece to becoming part of your uh, sales process. And you'll notice in there, there's a few assumptions we make around traffic and engagement. For some of you, these assumptions will seem high or perhaps out of reach. The beauty is we know we can get you there very quickly, whether you engage us to do it or you follow our instructions, we know it will work. So be, be encouraged by that. Uh, also, just a note here, um, we're looking at ways to track and sort of uh, reward or authenticate that you've participated in these various training options. We want to make sure that as busy as you are, that you've got a, uh, a good foundation on digital and you're not putting it off till tomorrow and then again till tomorrow and then again till tomorrow. Uh, so look for some things coming down the pipe so that we can uh, see who's completed some of these and, and potentially even provide you with um, sort of certification that, that you can pat yourself on the back regarding. Uh, so the next uh, thing we want to cover is the support center, uh, and I guess we, we cheated a little bit in calling this new, uh, but it's more updated. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is we've it, we've made it completely public. Uh, there's no more password. You can just go find the resources, look at the help articles. Uh, we've added a bunch of articles in. Uh, we're going to continue to do so. Uh, and we also are going to go through and update some of the older articles um, with some of the newer features and technology that Brian's going to cover later in the call. So that'll be coming shortly. Uh, Locable.zendesk.com is how you get there. Um, we've, again, organized this kind of by user type. So we have publishers, local businesses, and in this case, we call them readers, consumers. Uh, and as we continue to add more resources here, this will be uh, we're going to add the support links uh, kind of to the back end of, of your website so that you'll have your access uh, to get to all these resources uh, among some other, you know, tool tips and notifications that we're going to start to sprinkle in uh, over the coming months. And if there's any confusion about how this is different from the playbook, uh, this is focused on technical how-tos. Uh, as opposed to the playbook, which is about uh, business strategy, marketing content. Uh, this is sort of where the rubber meets the road in terms of, you know, how do I add an email subscribe box to the bottom of an article uh, to read off the list, for instance. So um, go here first when you have a technical question. If it's not addressed, uh, then submit it to the, the uh, your query and, and we'll reply, but we'll also um, update it. So as we get questions from you, we'll use that as a good good opportunity to update as, as needed as well. <clears throat> uh, so the last thing I want to introduce to you is our new resource library. Um, this is a page on our site, locable.com forward slash offers. Uh, it's going to be one place where we put everything we have to offer you. Um, we've organized it by both topic and type. Um, it's also going to be the home to all the office hours recordings. Uh, so you can see on the left-hand side of the screen there towards the bottom where the red arrow is, uh, that is where you're going to go uh, to look at all the old office hours. When you click on each one of the office hours videos, it will show you the agenda. So it'll be a little bit easier to identify uh, which recording is which. Um, and you know, as we continue to do bigger, uh, more involved resources like the print publisher checklist, this will be a place where you can come periodically to, to check for all those new things. So that's an update of some of these support items that we've had. Uh, for new publishers who join us, we'll probably point them to this video uh, as a reference, but keep, keep, an eye, uh, keep a log of these places that you can go. And if, if you need help, it's a great place to start, especially if it's after hours or uh, if you've got an urgent need and, and you know we may or may not be able to get back to you right away. Uh, hopefully you'll find at least many of the, um, of the things you need to address. Okay, so changing gears a little bit talking about this Burrell study. So let me give you some background. Burrell Associates is a local research house. Um, that's probably not giving them enough credit. They're sort of the industry leaders in, in local media advertising and so forth. And, uh, and they do all sorts of research and, and sort of forecasting and, so, and whatnot. Um, and so they, they do an annual survey about adoption of digital by local businesses. 
this isn't just advertising. This is digital everything. You know, a, a CRM. Uh, do you use Google AdWords? Do you invest in social media, et cetera, et cetera? So they reached out to us and asked if any of our publishers were interested in participating. As in, would your advertisers and your prospects uh, be interested? And so we sent out an email. You probably saw it. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, we need to get you on our email list. Um, but Basically, we said, hey, you can participate. And not only will you participate, but you'll get free access to the results. And for those businesses that participate, uh, they get a chance to win an iPad and they get some information uh, from the results as well. It's too late, unfortunately, to get new folks in, but I'm highlighting this because these are the sorts of things that when you participate at no cost, uh, they give you a leg up. They give you an insight into your community. Things are changing so quickly uh, in local media that it's easy to say, you know, we know these things to be true about our community because they were true five years ago and four years ago and three years ago, but they might not be true today. And this information uh, is helpful, not to mention uh, it, it's a much wider cross section that you get access to. And just to give you a sense of how easy it is, this particular survey, um, we, we get sort of prepared emails for you that we can load up into MailChimp and whatnot, and you can send out. You send three emails scheduled over a 15-day period with slight variations, and people can open them, come in, click the link, and, and go to fill out the survey. It's really easy. It would, for those of you who participated, it's sort of under 30 minutes of work total, uh, and just a great opportunity um, to get some good information. As a side effect, it's also another opportunity to talk to local businesses. So you could pick up the phone and you could call businesses to talk about this and you could use it as part of sort of a, of a sales uh, re-engagement plan if you were so inclined. In any case, uh, as much as we're allowed when we get the results, we'll share that uh, with our members. It obviously may not include all of your local markets, but I hope next time we have an opportunity to do something like this, uh, you will consider participating. All right, uh, now we're gonna change gears and Ryan's gonna talk about the family features uh, deal that we struck, uh, a little bit about family features, how it's going to work, why you should care, all of these great things. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the family features deal. It's something we've been working on for, for several months now to kind of nail down. Uh, this will be the first part uh, of pulling in third-party content for you to reuse on your site. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Family Features is a company that basically creates and promotes content uh, for for many businesses, small and large, uh, all across the country. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff they do is relevant to pretty much any market. You know, say a, um, you know maybe a Staples or a Pier One that you know there's going to be one somewhere near you, and even if it's not, many people will go online and buy from those types of establishments. Um, so we're going to partner with them. We're going to automatically ingest all the content that they create uh, into your site, and you'll be able to go uh, on, log in, and go to Manage Content Articles, and you will see a tab that we, we, you know, we don't know what the exact naming is going to be, but let's just call it syndicated for now. You will see a list of the articles, and you can either say accept, yes, I want to show this on my site, or you can say no, hide, don't show this one. Um, what this will allow you to do is kind of supplement the content that you're creating you know, uh, the local organic content that you have to write yourself. You know, maybe you do that once a week, you syndicate one article from Family Features once a week, and then maybe you do uh, a, you know, a kind of mashup or curation of other people's content that you do by hand. And now you've got three articles every week. Um, and as we've said over and over again, consistency and posting content to your website is the name of the game. That's how you increase traffic. That's how you increase engagement. Um, that's how you increase sales. Um, so we're super excited about that. Um, there's some other kind of ancillary things that go along with this. Um, we're going to be creating a article template, for lack of a better word, that will make it obvious that this is um, sponsored or paid content. Um, we'll also be adding in an author box that will say, you know, you can either use this in the case of, you know, for the Family Features articles, we'll say brought to you by Family Features, or um, you know, if you have a contributor in the future, you'll be able to say, you know, put their, you know, bio at the bottom of an article that they write. Uh, and then there'll be some widgets that you can use both on the homepage uh, and in the sidebar. Uh, so if you're interested uh, in learning a little bit more about the type of content uh, that they produce, uh, it's usually home and garden, travel, um, you know, food and drink, all that kind of stuff, you can go to editors.familyfeatures.com 
uh, kind of poke around their site. Uh, they post probably about anywhere between five and 20 articles a week. Um, so there won't be, you know, it's not a ton of content, but it'll be more than enough uh, for you to pick and choose the ones you like. Um, and as we get going and start, you know, once this is in production, we'll be inviting them in uh, to an office hours to do a webinar to introduce you to the content and answer any of your questions. So I'm excited about this. I know Brian's excited about this, and we hope that this will be, you know, coming in in the next month uh, to 45 days or so, um, at least in its first cut. And just to clarify a couple of things, the articles they produce, it would be something like in California, we have a massive avocado industry. So the avocado growers would go to them and say, hey, can you write some articles, include some recipes, so that when people read these articles about using avocados, they think to themselves, hey, let's go buy avocados. And so instead of advertising, they're producing content. So this is legitimate, authentic articles uh, that are very interesting acro across a wide range of, of topics. Uh, we refer to this as sponsored or paid content, not because we're getting paid in this case, but because it was paid for by um, the Avocado Association or, or whatnot. The same template will be used uh, or used a bowl uh, by your locally sold um, sponsored content as well. So just wanted to highlight those two things. Uh, and, and while you will have the option to either accept or hide. We will also have a setting for some sites that want sort of more streamlined uh, ingestion to just auto publish everything. So if you're thinking to yourself, I like health, I like family, I like travel, I like food, and I just want it to show up, let us know. We'll put you on the list of folks that will have the content just sort of auto publish. You can always remove it and so forth. Uh, this also will lay the foundation for some other content syndication. So we're pretty excited. You'll have the opportunity in the future, uh, sort of further extending what we're doing with them, to let your content be syndicated by other publishers and vice versa, which has some SEO implications if you share out and, of course, content if you pull in. So really exciting. It's, it's going to supplement a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of your sites nicely. Yeah, I'll, I'll just add one more quick thing because I think Brian made a great point there. As, as we spoke with a lot of different uh, third parties like Family Features about you know bringing in their content, and we ultimately chose Family Features because they produce great original educated education type of content versus some of the others that are a little bit more newsy or a little bit more salesy. You know, we don't want that kind of content in our system. It's not good for you to host that. So we've kind of vetted these guys over a long period of time. Um, and, and that's why we chose to work with them. And, you know, one other thing that uh, Brian didn't mention about, you know, you being able to syndicate your content out is we'll also allow businesses um, that are using some of our other tools like the Impact Marketing Suite, which I'll just tease right now. If you don't know what that is, uh, please ask us. But we'll be able to pull, when they create an article, we'll be able to pull that stuff into your site as well. So, you know, we're, we're all about creating this local content ecosystem, and we're giving you ways to, to streamline that. Um, this is all part of that process. Excellent. All right, so wrapping up, we're going to talk about the technology updates. And um, if you've been posting content, you would have noticed a, a very revamped media library, the way that you post and, and find and, and use images. Uh, by and large, there's a lot of added flexibility and some new things you can do, which I'll highlight in a moment. Uh, you'll see it completely rebuilt articles, pages, categories, and tags. So we talked a, a couple, well, what, a month and a half ago uh, about our ongoing uh, improvements throughout the system. These are major items that were completed. So you'll see just better publishing, the introduce, introduction of autosave, faster loading. Uh, on the front end, the pages are mobile responsive and there's lots of bug fixes that were included. And, and overall, you should notice your sites are much faster. Uh, our statistics have greatly improved and they're looking wonderful. So we're really excited about that. Uh, I'm gonna bounce out of this and I'm gonna go uh, and, and show you a little bit about what's new if you haven't seen it. So uh, the, the same basic premise exists. It's very much a paint by numbers approach. Uh, the main image area here, however, now is, is directly tied in to your media library. And this is our demo site. So we have a lot of sort of garbage, uh, garbage images here. But again, you can still browse your hard drive by clicking the browse button, or you can drag and drop. So if you have a bunch of images, you highlight them in, in a folder and you drag them in. In fact, I'll take the opportunity uh, to do this now. I'll come in here, grab uh, sort of three images, and I'll just drag those up there. 
Uh, now what happens is we're uploading the image and then processing. If you happen to be in a situation where uh, it sort of seems to wait here, it's really just processing and there may be a little bit of a queue on the server and then you'll see them start to pop along uh, the top here. So uh, you'll see that those are completed. Now there's some great things you can do. Uh, if you click on the pencil here, you can come in and you can attach a caption. So uh, camping at the lake. Please be sure when you type this that you click update and you'll notice that it gives you a little success message here. So this image now has a caption associated with it. Uh, you can see the original image. In this case, my computer just downloaded it, um, but nevertheless, you could browse that. Um, you can also delete images. So this was something we had held off on because we didn't want you to delete an image that was actually being used. So one of the really cool things we've done is added the ability for you to know, is this being used? Well, this one's not. How about this one? Ah, this one's been posted as a comment. Let's look at a couple more. That one's not. No, let's see. All right, this one's posted on a couple uh, articles and used in a comment. So you wouldn't want to delete this. Uh, so very, very good there. Also, if you happen to be uploading a lot of images and you don't want to wait for it to process, just hit the hide button. It'll keep working in the background so you can continue posting uh, your article and then you can come back and you can select what you want. Notice I selected it by clicking on the little checkbox. It adds it here and then you click place image to insert it. Uh, once inserted, you do have the crop ability here. It will load the full image, which takes a second because it's a big image. And then you can come in and you can again crop and it will maintain your aspect ratio. And you click save changes and you'll see it's working there. Uh, a couple other updates you'll see uh, to the tags. We made an update a few months ago. There was some confusion about how it worked and so forth. And so we made another update. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna type a tag of demo. And you can see that demo is there. So I can select it and click enter and it adds it down below. Please note, um, clicking race comma horses will not add race and horses as tags. You do have to um, hit the enter key. Uh, to add them and you, you'll see them added below. As you continue, uh, most of the, the writing of an article is the same, but you'll notice that the insert options are missing from this area. And that's because we've connected them to the link and to the snippet section. So if you want to say, I had lunch at, you will now add a link to the directory. So you'll say link and you'll notice you've got to look up in this section here, you can choose what type of content you want to look up. In this case, a directory listing, and I'll do cafe, and I'll pick Issaquah Cafe, and it injects that. If you don't want it to have the Washington part, just to say the business name, that's fine. You just delete it, and you're good to go. Please note, uh, temporarily, the ability to add a new listing from this screen has been removed. It will be added back as we update that portion of the uh, of the application, but if you really need to be creating a lot of listings, we do still have the import feature. And of course you can come up here and you can create a business um, so you can take care of that. Uh, now, as far as the uh, snippets are concerned, you'll notice this little arrow, insert content snippet. So this is different from a link because it's actual content. So I will come in and I'll say demo as an article. I will pick, uh, this particular uh, article. You notice it gives you a preview, which is very nice, and I can insert that. And then um, usually you'd have a better excerpt than that, but you'll move the character down and you know continue typing your article. Now there's a couple other changes. Uh, if you wanted to link this out, but not to um, not to somewhere else on your site, this was a manual link. And you'll notice that the text that's highlighted is article. That's what people will see, and it will link to whatever you type in. It does need to include the HTTP. If you just do, you know, ESPN.com, it won't link. It needs to have in front of it. Uh, also, again, if you have a paid placement, uh, you must make this link no follow. Uh, otherwise, Google will not like you very much. Uh, and then inline images. So I'll go ahead and put the cursor where I want it. And I want an image in the, in the body here. 
you'll notice a, a completely revamped inline images. When I click select or upload image, again, it launches my, uh, my selection here. Now, I'll pick this other image and I'll place image, but you're not quite done yet. Now you've got a couple options left. The default is sort of the, the medium size image. You can use original, which is only to be used if you've custom built a graphic. You want it to be exactly 380 pixels by whatever, use the original. But normal images don't use this feature, it'll blow out the design. However, there's this new option for full width. And this gives you a different look on the site. Uh, I'll do that in just a moment. For now, I'll go with default. Uh, if you want it to link somewhere, you can add that. And I'll set it to the right. All right. And I'm going to come down. This is perhaps a bad example because I don't have enough real content. And I'm going to do one more image. Again, I'll select. By the way, if you want to do manual, you, you could pull in from other sites. I don't recommend it, but it's an option. You need to know the URL uh, for the source. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this uh, dog image, and I'm going to place it, and I'm going to do full width. And you'll notice it literally will fill this up perfectly uh, when you publish this. So for now, I'll just leave that as is until I publish it. Uh, again, you've got all of your media uh, insert options for videos or digital editions. Uh, you've got your form builder, your PDFs, and your gallery. Just a couple quick updates on the gallery here. So I'll go ahead and create it. Uh, some of the workflow is a little bit different. I'm just going to select some pictures. And as I continue, what's great is I can continue on to other parts of the um, other parts of the or other pages and just continue adding my images here. Uh, if I want, I can drag and reorder as well, and then I can place images. Now they're here. If I wanted to reorder again, I'd have to click select and reorder images, but that has uh, been attached. This won't be formally saved until the article is saved. So I've got my article, I've got my image, I need my title. Please don't write a terrible excerpt like that. I'm doing this just for speed. And of course, I will pick my category and I can publish. Uh, one other thing I want to note, we do have autosave. You have to first save to draft or click to enable autosave. But once you've done that, uh, the system will automatically save every 15 seconds. So any changes that you make, it will uh, save those changes for you. So if you know this is going to be a long running uh, article for you to produce, uh, click to enable autosave and continue working. I will just go ahead and publish it. All right, and it's going to take you straight to the article so you can see it. So you've got all your normal links and so forth. Um, I've got my floated image, and now you can see I've got my full width image. So if you wanted to highlight more large images within the body, uh, you can absolutely do that. Of course, you still have your, uh, your actual gallery as well. Uh, please note that the inline image that you see here, uh, if you do full width, will be what's referred to as the main image. Uh, so if you've cropped it, it will show as cropped. Our system does auto crop the main image. That's why you see this dog as being in landscape mode. However, if you view the original uh, orientation in the gallery, it's in portrait. So do know that image that's inserted will be cropped. All right, so circling back, um, these pages are responsive. We've talked about this uh, in other situations that as you scale it down, it will look good. Uh, depending on the mobile browser, the ads will have an effect. Uh, the ads are not yet responsive. However, that will be addressed very shortly. So um, we're continuing working through the application. You'll see more what we refer to as refactored uh, parts of the site uh, over the next month, and that will about conclude our major upgrade, which has been pretty great. So uh, in conclusion, I want to give you an introduction to what's next. Um, we're working on offline directory upgrades. This has been uh, a feature we've been interested in for a while, uh, and one of our publishers really had a need for it, so she 
helped us pull the trigger on that. This will mean you can sell packages and upgrade it uh, and, and basically um, have it run outside of the credit card process. Uh, we're going to be moving from Google DFP to Broad Street. And we've talked about this a little bit in the past. Uh, we've started in uh, on some of the formal integration pieces and coding will start later this week. Uh, this will give you greater ability to post your own ads. You will no longer need to send them to us. Um, it will also introduce responsive ads, which means you can have some ads specifically for mobile and others for desktop and so forth. Uh, you'll see more search refinements. We're act actively underway on that. Of course, the family features work, and we're going to be introducing a, uh, a new label for content called topics, <coughs> which is somewhere in between a tag and a category, and you'll be able to do some interesting things with that. So very exciting roadmap. We'd love to get your feedback. Uh, whenever we do this sort of massive overhaul as we've done on the articles and so forth, uh, there's always things that we need to refine and clean up or just simply um, didn't consider how you would use it when it finally got into the wild. So if you see something there, uh, please don't hesitate to let us know hey, it'd be great if it worked this way or had this other feature, could do this other thing. Uh, we're very much looking for that sort of feedback. With that, uh, we thank you for joining us on, on the call today. And uh, we'll get back on our regular schedule, uh, picking it up again next Tuesday at, uh, at noon Pacific. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, post them now. Otherwise, thanks for your time.